Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Well, today we're going to be doing a hardware review and we're going to be looking at the Coast 16 pen display by Parblo, right? Now, over the years, I used several brands of uh, uh, pen displays, you know, Wacom, UG, and others. And uh, today we're going to take the Parblo through its paces to see how that holds up, right? Now, when it comes to pen displays and 3D artists, you have a number of categories. You got people that don't have one and don't need one. You got people that don't need one, but they want one. Then you got people that, you know, have one and you got people that want one, but don't know what to buy, right? So hopefully this video will help you to decide. And that, that said, let's jump in. Here we go. All right, so let's start off with the packaging. So uh, the unit is well protected. It's uh, shrink wrapped, as you can see in this image right here in a pretty sturdy box. Uh, this is the inner box with uh, the Parbo logo on it. And uh, if we look inside, you can see there's an additional sleeve on the unit to protect that from dust and whatnot, right? When you take that off, you see uh, the unit and we're gonna talk about that in length later. Underneath that, you have two boxes, a small one and a larger one. And the larger one contains uh, the cable, the CD with the drivers, a glove to use and a little cloth. And then in this unit right here, you have the pen with the, uh, the tip remover and additional tips. Okay, so what are we talking about from a dimensions point of view? Well, it's 440 millimeters by 280 millimeters by 14.5 millimeters. Or in inches, it's 17.3 by 11 by 0 0.57. So roughly, I would say the size of an average uh, laptop. Okay, guys, well, it's time to get through the technical stuff, right? Well, uh, we're talking about the Coast 16 here. The Pablo also has a Coast 10 and a 13 and 22 if you want a smaller or bigger unit. And uh, that said, um, the screen has a, um, a full HD resolution. So this, uh, this unit is 1920 by 1080 resolution. It's an IPS screen, which is uh, pretty important nowadays. And uh, the screen is anti-glare, right? That's uh, kind of nice, especially if you're working with uh, light sources around. You don't want that reflectivity on the, your screen uh, hindering you, right? So it accommodates uh, 8,192 different pressure levels with the pen on the unit, which is kind of neat. And uh, you can tilt that pen at an angle to about 45 degrees where it will still work. Now, um, the unit has a stand. It's a fixed stand set at 30 degrees. Um, I don't know yet whether that's gonna be a problem or not. Uh, other units that I had before, uh, you know, were adjustable. This one seems to be okay so far, but I will be doing a full practical test in a following video, and I'll tell you how that works out, right? Now, from a connectivity point of view, uh, there's one cable that has multiple ends on it. So uh, you have a USB-C cable that powers the unit. So that goes from the unit to your PC. And then you have a mini HDMI coming out of the unit going into a regular HDMI into your PC, right? That's all there's to it. So there's no battery block. There is no direct charging or anything like that. Now keep in mind, this is a pen display. It's not a computer. So you cannot uh, install software on this unit it is an extension of your system, right? Keep that in mind, okay. So, the unit itself has eight hotkeys and one rotary key, and uh, as far as compatibility, you can use this on a Windows or Mac system. Now, what I absolutely love about this unit is the pen, and the fact that you don't have to charge the pen. There's no holder to charge it, there's no cable to stick into it. The pen is just the pen, right? So, uh, no fuss with that. Well, the pen is really solid. It comes in a nice casing. It has a tip remover included and also six additional tips. So, uh, you know, you're ready to go. Right guys, well, that basically concludes the unboxing part of this uh, little series. Uh, I will be doing a, a full walkthrough in Photoshop and ZBrush in an upcoming video. Uh, but that said, here is the uh, website, the Parblo website, if you want to check out this unit or others. Uh, that said, I want to make sure you guys understand that this is not a paid video, right? They sent a review unit, uh, but they did not pay me to do this video. 
Okay, so uh, a second video coming soon where I will take it through his paces and hopefully you will check that out as well. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.